proposal still needs to be approved by the governor. If it is, some businesses will have to hit the ground running to be ready for opening day. Others have already been making changes and are just waiting for the green light to reopen. Kimberly Speakman has more in a story that's new at 9. The Children's Discovery Center is known for its hands-on learning, but because of the pandemic, that hands-on learning has gone online. When we switched um, during our closure, we spent a lot of time thinking about how we could still bring those same hands-on um, learning ideas um, into, into homes. Their solution? To offer learning through online videos on social media and their website as well as online classes. They offer story times and art and science activities. Now with Mayor Kirk Caldwell announcing a possible date to reopen, Usher says they're getting to work with preparations to reopen the center. It definitely gives us a deadline to look forward to. I think um, just because of the nature of our business and our audience um, being families, um, we would probably be extra cautious. And so we wouldn't push necessarily to open right at that date until we know that we had um, all of our safety measures in place. Usher says these past few weeks they've been coming up with ideas of how to keep everyone safe. Along with hand washing and social distancing, one idea is rotating rotating out props in certain exhibit areas. Limiting the amount of time um, that a group can be at one time and then in addition to cleaning, you know, throughout the day while visitors are there, um, cleaning in between um, the times when groups could come in. Along with museums, movie theaters will also be allowed to reopen on June 19th. I reached out to Consolidated Theaters and it said it didn't have any reopening plans to share just yet. But on its website, it's selling tickets for some July showings for movies that have already made their run in theaters. Meanwhile, the Honolulu Zoo could be as open as early as this Friday. It recently allowed Honolulu Zoo Society members back to the facility, but with some new changes. Face masks are are required and pathways are now marked for one-way foot traffic. Guests are also warned that they may have to wait to get in as capacity is limited to ensure social distancing. The governor has it indicated if and when he'll sign Mayor Caldwell's proposal, but will keep you updated. Kimberly Speakman, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.